Hi everybody, it's Dr. Wendy O'Connor and today is Saturday. It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. I don't know if you can tell or not. It's a little bit rainy. What am I, a weather girl? No, I'm not a weather girl, but uh, I did have a break because I work on Saturdays and I just want to check in and, you know, uh, provide any support I can to help people to breathe and relax and, and try to handle what is going on in the world um, with with uh, a little bit of uh, relaxation coping strategies. So um, yeah, hopefully I can be helpful. I know a lot of people are freaking out at markets and even, you know, the, the, just the, the way that the world is very quiet now, which is a good thing because we're all paying attention and we are, you know, being aware of what the Surgeon General says, which is great. Um, but at the same time, we have to live our lives. And so um, we have to be responsible and respectful, but so many people are getting more panicky as the days uh, go on. So anything that I can do to support and help people to take a deep breath, to chill out, to try to relax a little, um, you know, obviously you wanna prepare yourself with the handy dandy products that everybody is you know, um, freaking out about at the markets and, you know, you get your hand sanitizer. So interesting. I did not know that they have an expiration uh, thing. Somebody told me that, but that one's good. And let me see. Oh, that one's good. Who knew? I didn't know that. Am I the only one, by the way? You guys can let me know. Did you know there was an expiration date? Maybe my OCD people might have known that. Um, and I consider myself pretty OCD, but... I did not know that. So, um, yeah, so I'm just, I had a break today. I am seeing some clients and doing a little bit of therapy, a little bit of life coaching, and I thought I would just jump on Facebook and Instagram and just, uh, you know, use this time to empower people. If you have to stay home and uh, you are overwhelmed, maybe because your partner is home and you need your space, that happens a lot. I have a lot of couples that are feeling very overwhelmed because they have a certain rhythm that they have with their client, with their own, I say clients, with their uh, partners. And, uh, you know, a lot of parents are overwhelmed because the kids are home and if you have younger kids it's really difficult or if you have uh, you know teenagers that can be really difficult so put them to work uh, you know I'm all about volunteering and I think it, it, there is so much work to be done in this world so the more that we get out into the world and we help people uh, the less we will um, pay attention to our ego and and kind of get out of our heads a little bit it's a nice distraction so um, I have uh, suggested that some kids and teenagers, if you have a handful of kids or teens at home, uh, you know, 99 cent store, Dollar Tree, those places are open and you can get a couple things like uh, brown paper bags and, um, you know, markers or crayons and you can do little art projects on the bags and then you can get a loaf of bread or you can get peanut butter and jelly uh, and, um, you know, like a bag of chips or something and make a whole bunch of lunches and have the kids put together some snacks, put them in a bag and go donate them to shelters or to the homeless or to domestic violence shelters. Uh, they might not let you come in because, you know, everything is shut down right now. But, uh, you know, I think that uh, there's, like I said, a lot of work to be done. And, um, you know, for the older elderly people, you want to um, maybe keep your distance because, you know, young people might be carriers, but uh, at the same time, make sure that you FaceTime, make time to, you know, reach out, to check in with them, to have a little bit of conversation. Uh, as you know, during this time of isolation, this is kind of an at-risk time for people to have a little bit more anxiety, a little bit more depression. If you are a hypochondriac, you might, uh, you know, be really overwhelmed and you have to uh, differentiate what is rational from irrational. Um, Right now it feels all rational because I know everybody's very overwhelmed with what's happening in the world. Please people, please, please, please don't watch eight hours of news. That will just kill your soul. It's important to get the nuts and bolts of what we need to know. Maybe step away a little bit, 
listen to some music, go clean up spring cleaning, maybe, you know, put your kids to work, have them clean out their closets, uh, donate to the needy. I mean, there's so many things you could do. You can even just Google like things to do around the house or free things um, online. There, there's, um, you know, every, everybody, a, a lot of people are on TikTok. That's a fun website to go on. I mean, the creativity is crazy. Do you guys have any questions for me or, you know, please feel free at all to, uh, you know, to um, let me know, are you seeing the same things we're seeing in Los Angeles? Uh, it's just crazy. It's crazy. People are panicking more and more. And listen, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's a work in progress. And so it doesn't help to be so anxious. When you're anxious, Research shows that our brain closes up and we just can't get oxygen to our brain. So we can't really think that much. Uh, so if you are at the markets, listen to some music or practice deep breathing or listen to some meditation or, you know, uh, calm.com, that's a great website. Headspace, that's another website. Uh, that's a wonderful opportunity to go on YouTube and listen to... Um, Let's see, Dr. Wayne Dyer, he has a lot of positive mo motivational uh, talks. Uh, let's see, um, you can listen to um, affirmations, like positive affirmations. So yeah, there's a lot of different things. So let's see, here in the UK, still not too bad. Um, what's your advice that you can give? Uh, they are saying avoid the gyms now. Yeah, I know. So thank you so much for the question. I really appreciate it. Yeah, um, I uh, am not an MD. I'm a PhD, but uh, I do have people that are going to the gym. I um, Some people are freaked out, so they're not going. Other people are taking their handy dandy Clorox and they are, you know, they're sanitizers and they are being very responsible and they're moving forward with their life and um, you know I, I like I said I'm not an MD but if you feel healthy and you stay in distance so that you know nobody is next to you coughing and sneezing which would be nasty and not safe and not okay um, but you know, I think it's important for you to continue doing your daily life. So my friend went to the mall the other day, last night, and she just couldn't believe what a ghost town it is. So, you know, I know nobody wants to be in places where there's a lot of, uh, you know, people 50 or 500 or, I, you know, the number keeps changing. But uh, I have a treadmill and I have a pre-core elliptical um, in my garage and I'm saying I have not used it in a while so now I'm gonna get to using it just a little bit more because why not um, you know taking longer walks with my dog um, being outside is very nice trying to challenge yourself um, go you know tr maybe you want to go to an art store and pick up some yarn or maybe you um, and learn how to knit or um, I have one person that's learning how to make candles and scented candles. I think that's kind of cool. Um, you know, you don't have to spend money, but you can also get really creative. If um, uh, there's something called a vision board and you can do that on Pinterest, like in technology, or you can get a whole bunch of your old magazines and you can cut them up and you can paste them and do uh, a vision board. So you put whatever your goals are and your dreams are and you can make a little, um, you know, uh, positive uh, poster like that. So finally people have started to wash their hands. I know, so nasty, right? Which they should have done from the start. Yes, yes. Yeah, and I think people might even start to become a little OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, you know, where it's like I'm just noticing so many people that I've never ever seen before wash their hands and do this. And, you know, there's been a lot of people, you know, the old way was like if you saw people and they would to do that all the time, sometimes they would get judged. And now it's the opposite where people are getting judged for not doing that. So um, there's a lot of emotions going on. And and um you know you just you you want to make you still have to live your life and feel empowered and like i said there are so there, there's so much work to be done in this world um and i just feel like i'm always thinking to myself 
what else can I do? How else can I share my love, show people that I care? Um, you know, um, you know, what else can I learn? This is a wonderful opportunity to read books, you know, read, I was going to say journals. I don't want people obsessing about the news. Like I said, learn a little and then take a break, you know, and then learn a little and take a break. Um, please set boundaries with your friends or family that are calling you and being hysterical. That's never helpful because, you know, that doesn't help to get everybody so freaked out. Um, so let's see. Thank you for all your uh, your questions. That's so cool. Um, so what what are your thoughts on when this virus um, will hit the peak? I mean, I don't, I'm not an MD. I have no idea. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Some people say it. it's just funny to like, not funny, but to look at all the news and look at all the, listen to the radio stations and listen to people. You, you're going to hear 50 different stories, 50 different, um, you know, moments in an hour. So, uh, you know, I hear it's just beginning. I hear LA has not yet approached the, the heavy zone. I hear that it's settling down. I hear that it's getting bigger. I, you know, we can only be responsible for ourselves. And, and so while we are in this kind of holding pattern, um, you know, I think that we can just breathe and kind of chill out a little bit. Um, and like you said, yeah, just relax and enjoy your day and, and, uh, and don't worry. And I love that. I think that's a great thing to think about. Don't worry. But so many people worry. And, um, yesterday I went to the market and it was so interesting. I was just like going around and I knew that you know, there's a lot of anxiety in the world. And so I just made an intention. I'm going to breathe while I'm in this market and everybody's freaking out. And I did happen to take the last, uh, no, there was two things of eggs left. And I honestly, I needed eggs. I wasn't freaking out and like, I got to take it because there's only one last thing. But you know, it was like, just like casually like, oh, okay, I guess I'll take these eggs. And then someone saw me take some eggs and then they went and they were so happy to take the last of the eggs. And it's just like, it's not like, it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay. You know? Oh my God. That's so cool. Look at all these people. So, um, someone from Iraq, uh, for the first time spread, um, yeah. And the government decided to close everywhere. Uh, -huh. yeah. Yep. It is. It's, it's everywhere. It is. And, and I think on, on some way it's a pretty amazing thing what we're doing in society together it's kind of powerful to to see i mean the streets i don't think you guys can see but the streets are so let me see if i can pick it up okay let's see let's see this is my office by the way if you ever would like a virtual session usually my puppy is there but he's not there um okay uh oh let's see rotate your phone you can't turn your phone right recording. it. Oh, okay. I'm learning. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like nobody. There's like, n oh, maybe I'd do that. There's like nobody on the streets. Nobody on the streets whatsoever. Can I walk with my phone? It says that I can't. Okay. So there's three guys and another man. But like, it is a beautiful day here. I got to tell you, it's just gorgeous in Los Angeles. It's a little rainy, but anyway, so... Am I supposed to do it this way or this way? Do you guys know? Hmm. Um, okay. Oh my God, there's somebody from like growing up that is watching me. Hey, oh my God, that's crazy. That is crazy. Um, tell me if I need to turn this this way as I don't really know, I don't really do these a lot. Um, but so you guys, what else do I wanna tell you except calm down, chill out, it's all going to be okay and I'm getting judged by many people for staying so um, positive and my sister who I love I love more than anything in the whole world is lovely but she does not understand why I'm not like freaking and there's just no that doesn't help anything I take it seriously yes it's going on in this world is very very seriously but um, you know, we got to stay grounded. I have to help people. So if I freak out, I can't be helping you guys. 
So that's it. I think as I'm waiting for my next client, I'm going to jump on over to Instagram at I A M D R Wendy. And hopefully, I will see you guys later. Stay calm. Bye.